Subscribe for more stories. Hi, Virginia. How are you today? A terrifying dash cam video captures the moments before an Uber driver was murdered. In Allegheny County, Pennsylvania, the prosecution presented 20 minutes of video from Christina Spacuza's Uber, a 38-year-old mother of four trying to make extra money for her family. These would be the last images of her alive. Calvin Crew entered the back seat. He had his hood pulled over his head, and everything but his eyes were hidden by a black face mask. He didn't move, only mumbled a few words. Did you have a good day today? Spicuza happily inquires, did you have a good day today? Ten minutes into the journey, he murmurs, to which Spicuza replied, that's good. Crew, 22 can be observed sliding to the center of the back seat after the trip had been going for 18 minutes and produced a firearm. He held the gun to the back Spicuza's head while grabbing her hair. What are you doing? This is a gun. Keep driving. No, it's not. Stop. Come on, man. I got a family. What are you doing? I got doing? a family, too. Now drive. What are you doing? Drive. Please stop. Drive the car, miss. And I have four kids. What are you doing? Drive the car. Detective Lori McKeel from the Allegheny County Sheriff's Office stated, she attempted to reason with him and tried to appeal to his humanity. The journey continued after the dash camera was pulled from the windshield. What we don't see is that according to the police, Crew used banking apps including Venmo, PayPal, Dollar Bank, and Square while Spicuza was obligated to continue driving for one additional hour. Unfortunately Christine's body was later recovered on February 12th on a hillside in the Pittsburgh neighborhood of Monroeville. Police say robbery was the motive behind the killing of an Uber driver last week. Christina Spicuza was shot and killed last Thursday night. Her body was found a few days later. The suspected killer, Calvin Crew, is now in custody. Jennifer Barrasso is live with what happened during that Uber ride and the timeline of Spacuza's final moments. Jen. Well, according to police, they recovered the victim's personal dash camera, capturing those final moments. The victim begging for her life. Court paperwork says Calvin Crew pressed a gun to the back of her head. Christina's murder is a sad and tragic case, like so many others in Allegheny County. It was a senseless killing that left four children without a mother. February 10th, around 9.15 p.m., Uber driver Christy Spacuza picked up 22-year-old Calvin Crew of Penn Hills along Brinton Avenue in Pickheron. Trouble started midway into that trip, and police say Spacuza's personal dash camera inside her car captured the terrifying moments before Crew took down the camera. Police say Crew leaned forward and put a gun to Spacuza's head. For several minutes, Spacuza begged for her life, saying, Come on, I have a family. I'm begging you. I have four kids. Please take that off me. Detectives believe when crew couldn't get any money trying to access banking apps, he shot her in the head here in this wooded area along Rosecrest Drive in Monroeville. We believe this was a robbery. Police say after crew shot Spacuza, he went to his cousin's home in East Pittsburgh and eventually returned to Pitcairn, where he lives with his girlfriend. Friday morning, Spacuza's family reported her missing. On Saturday, police found her car on 4th Street in Pitcairn with no dash camera. A few hours later, an Amazon driver called 911 after spotting Spacuza's body in these woods. Police eventually found Spacuza's Uber dash cam here along this chain link fence in Penn Hills. And they tracked Spacuza's final Uber passenger to an account owned by Tanya Mullen, Crew's girlfriend, who they say ordered the Uber. On Thursday night, police arrested and charged Crew with criminal homicide. Police point to technology like cell phone tracking and ride data from Uber that helped make the arrest. As society changes with uh, more technology being part of people's lives, it changes uh, investigations also. And can investigators are doing more follow up interviews and they say more people could be charged. Calvin Crew is locked up behind me in the Allegheny County Jail. Reporting live, Jennifer Barrasso, KDK News.